Hello and welcome to the news on Bahrain International. I'm Heba Abdel Ghaffar. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Decree 74 of 2019 appointing Dr. Nasser Muhammad Yusuf Al Belushi as extraordinary plenipotentiary ambassador of Bahrain to Italy. His Majesty also issued Decree 75 of 2019 appointing Salah Ali Hassan Al Maliki as extraordinary plenipotentiary ambassador of Bahrain to Kuwait, residing in Baghdad. He issued Decree 76 of 2019 appointing Hisham bin Muhammad. Ahmed Al Jodar as ambassador in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs Court. His Majesty the King also issued Decree 77 of 2019, appointing Dr. Sheikh Munira bin Khalifa bin Hamad Al Khalifa as Chief Executive Officer of Muhammad bin Mubarak Al Khalifa Diplomatic Academy with the rank of Assistant Under Secretary. His Majesty issued Decree 78 of 2018, designating the administrative entity that assumes the duties and powers prescribed prescribed for the protection of personal data authority. The Ministry of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments has been designated to assume the duties and powers prescribed for the protection of personal data according to the provisions of Law 30 of 2018 for the protection of personal data until issuance of financial credit for the authority's president and its board in the state's general budget under the aforesaid law. The Under Secretary of the Ministry of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments shall assume the duties and powers prescribed for the Executive President. His Majesty issued Decree 79 of 2019, restructuring the Social Insurance Organization. According to Article 1, the organizational structure of the Social Insurance Organization is as follows. The Board of Directors, the Chief Executive Officer, the Actuarial Studies and Risks Directorate, the Legal Legal Affairs Directorate, the Deputy Chief Executive Officer for Insurance Affairs with the rank of Assistant Under Secretary Overseeing, the Customer Service Directorate, the Pensions and Benefits Directorate, the Deputy Chief Executive for Operation with the rank of Assistant Under Secretary Overseeing, the Human Resources Directorate, the Financial Resources Directorate, the Insurance Information Directorate. His Majesty the King also issued Decree 80 of 2019, Restructuring Education and Training Quality Authority. The Education and Training Quality Authority has been restructured as follows. The Board of Directives in charge, the CEO in rank of Undersecretary in charge of Human and Financial Resources Directorate and the Director of National Frame for Qualifications and Examinations in the rank of Assistant Undersecretary in charge of Operations of the National Frame Directorate and National Examinations Directorate. The General Director for Auditing Performance of Education and Training Institutions in the rank of Assistant Under Secretary in charge of Schools Performance Auditing Directorate, Private Schools and Kindergartens Performance Auditing Directorate, Higher Educational Institutions Auditing Directorate and Vocational Training Institutions Auditing Directorate. His Majesty also issued Decree 81 of 2019, restructuring the Institute of Public Administration BIPA. According to Article 1, the new organizational structure BIPA is as follows. The Board of Directors, the Board, the Director General with the rank of Assistant Under Secretary, Directorate of Human and Financial Resources, Directorate of Education and Development, Directorate of Consultancy and Research, Directorate of Assessment. Directorate of Business Development. Article 2 stipulates the cancellation of Decree 29 of 2013 regarding the restructuring of BIPA. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Qurabiya Palace His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Their Royal Highness has affirmed the importance of Saudi Arabia's role as a pillar for security and stability in the region, for its regional and international status, and its efforts in preserving world stability and economy. Their Royal Highnesses stressed that any attempt to target Saudi Arabia should be addressed 
Minister firmly by the international community. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince discussed a number of topics on the efforts exerted to achieve the aspirations of citizens in various fields. They asserted that the priority of all service projects in Bahrain prioritized meeting citizens' needs, noting their keenness on accelerating the implementation of these projects. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa chaired today the weekly cabinet meeting at Qarabiya Palace. In the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. After the session, the Cabinet Secretary General Dr. Yasser bin Isa Al Nasser issued the following statement. The Cabinet welcomed the results of the visit of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia last Monday and the talks His Majesty held with the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. It hailed the importance of the visit and the success of its goals, whose outcomes came to affirm the depth of brotherly relations between the two countries at the consultation and coordination levels. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister then directed to provide services and established necessary facilities in Khalifa town, such as a sewage network, established markets, and studied the establishment of a school for boys comprising the three educational levels. His Royal Highness appointed the Ministerial Committee for Development Projects and Infrastructure to study and follow up on the matter with the ministries concerned. His Royal Highness directed to qualifying law graduates and double the number of trainees in the Judicial and Legal Studies Institute and increase the number of law graduates training in the Ministry of Justice and Islamic Affairs to integrate them in the labor market. The Prime Minister also directed to replace schools cabins used as classes with academic buildings to create a suitable environment for education. His Royal Highness instructed the Ministry of Education and the relevant ministries to submit a comprehensive plan, including the proposed alternatives and the timing of their implementation and financing. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister instructed to develop the school environment in order to benefit from school buildings in youth and sports activities after school hours, and appointed the Ministerial Committee for Financial and Economic Affairs and Financial Balance to follow up on the matter. The Cabinet approved a number of draft decrees by law according to the recommendation of the Coordination Committee led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier and decided to take the required constitutional and legal measures to issue them. The Cabinet also approved a draft law amending a number of provisions of the Central Bank of Bahrain and Financial Institutions Law aimed at keeping in line with the current law for the best international and legislative practices in the field of financial and auditing services for a better protection of financial institutions and customers. The Cabinet approved a draft resolution amending Resolution 50 of 2015 to establish and form a strategic committee and to coordinate this spectrum by adding new terms of reference to the committee and new representatives to its membership. The cabinet discussed a memorandum of understanding submitted by the Minister of Interior to 
cooperate in the field of internal security between the Ministry of Interior in Bahrain and its counterpart in the U.S. The cabinet reviewed the results of the job fairs organized by the Ministry of Labor and Social Development during the first half of 2019 to follow up on the cabinet's directives and decisions in the field of launching programs and projects aimed at providing further job opportunities suitable for citizens. The cabinet also discussed removing a number of clubs from management under the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs because their activities are not compatible with the activities and goals of the ministry in the sports and youth field. The cabinet approved the government's responses on three proposals, the first on creating a national program for medical specialties, and the second on including relatives who care for persons with severe autism in Resolution 18 of 2018 on the conditions and controls for granting two hours of rest to an employee or worker with a disability or caring for a person with disability, and the third on a youth center in Wadi al Sale. The cabinet was briefed on the results of Bahrain's participation in the 40th session of the International Civil Aviation Organization General Assembly, held in Montreal recently. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Qurabiya Palace the U.S. Ambassador to Bahrain, Justin Sebril, where they discussed the outstanding relations between the two friendly countries and means of enhancing them in various fields. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister hailed the cooperation and friendship between Bahrain and the U.S. and their strategic partnership, which contributed to achieve mutual interests and benefits the two countries and peoples in various fields. His Royal Highness affirmed the kingdom's keenness to enhance bilateral relations and develop cooperation for the development of joint investments and activating trade by supporting the efforts of the private sector in this field. They reviewed the regional and international developments where His Royal Highness noted the efforts of the U.S. in reinforcing security and stability in the region and the world, affirming the importance of collectively facing the current security challenges to maintain world peace and and stability. For his part, the ambassador expressed his country's pride in the interest of the government of Bahrain led by His Royal Highness in strengthening the ties of friendship and cooperation between the two countries in various fields and hailed Bahrain's support of international efforts to maintain security and stability in the region. The Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jaber Al Sabah, received the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, in his residence in the United States in the presence of UAE's Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation, Sheikh Abdullah bin Zayed Al Nahyan, and the Omani Minister responsible for Foreign Affairs, Yusuf bin Alawi. The Kuwaiti Emir entrusted the Minister with conveying his greetings to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman. Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, wishing Bahrain and its people prosperity and development. Sheikh Khalid conveyed the greetings of His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince to the Kuwaiti Emir and their congratulations on the success of his medical examinations, asking Allah the Almighty to grant him and the people of Kuwait abundant health and wellness. The Foreign Minister, well, the Foreign Affairs Minister expressed Bahrain's deep appreciation for the noble humanitarian role played by His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jaber Al Sabah on regional and international levels, expressing pride in the strong and historic brotherly relations with Kuwait. Delegated by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmad bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, participated in the memorial service of the former President of France, Jacques Chirac, held today in Church of Saint Sulpice. The ceremony was attended by the French President Emmanuel Macron and a number of heads of states and governments, as well as senior officials from different parts of the world. The Minister of Foreign Affairs conveyed the condolences of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and 
and those of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister uh, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to President Macron on the demise of the former French President. Sheikh Khalid recalled with appreciation the contributions of the deceased to strengthening the historic relations between Bahrain and France, valuing his stances in supporting and defending Arab issues and the rights of people to live in peace as well as achieving security and stability.